The tools panel is the home for all manual editing tools, meaning that you have to click on the tool to activate it and then either click or click and drag across your artwork to make that tool work. We've already seen the zoom and the hand tool perform from there, but you can move the tools panel out from its current home. It's usually always docked or stuck to the side of the left hand edge of the screen. But if you just take your cursor to the row of dotted symbols that appear in the upper portion of the tools panel and click and hold down the left mouse button, keep it held down and drag out. You can drag that from its current home to float in front of your artwork, wherever you see fit. The tools panel is broken down into essentially four different sections. The first seven tool slots will allow you to move, select, sample and trim parts of your image. The middle section of tools are all related to healing and retouching, painting and also applying colour to your artwork. We have then a series of four vector tools that will allow you to create basic shapes or to create text and edit them. And of course we've already seen the final section of tools which are all related to navigation. At the bottom, well that's where you can choose to change colours. So when you're using a painting tool in Photoshop, you're using the foreground colour, which is always shown at the upper left hand side of these two squares. You can change a colour by left clicking inside of the square and then choosing to pick a colour from the hue slider in here, like so to change the hue. And then you can choose how saturated or intense that colour is by clicking in the larger box. You can go lighter from the top and working down to be darker and darker as you click lower down in that box as well. If you have a reference for a specific colour, this is where you can add it as well. From here, I will click cancel. You can also choose to switch those two colours round, the foreground and the background, by clicking on the double headed arrow at the bottom of the tools panel. Now, not every tool is visible inside of this panel at once. So you might find that, for example, where we have a selection tool, that allows us to select rectangular regions in an image, there is a small symbol that's located in the bottom right corner. That means there are other tools of a similar nature hidden away. To access them, click and hold the left mouse button down on that particular tool button. And then after a short pause, a menu will pop up and showing you the other tool. And in this case, we have three other tools located. You can hover across and then click on the tool that you wish to activate from the list in there. If you wish to, you can take your cursor up to the top right hand side and click on the chevron to make that a two column panel layout. Or you can click back on the same icon to make them a single column layout as well. Finally, if you wish to dock this and stick it on the far left hand side of the screen, hover your cursor over the same very pale dotted symbol, drag that across to the very edge of the interface. When you see the tall blue line appear, that's when you can let go of the left mouse button and it will dock it to the interface once more. And that's the tools panel.